Bonjour! Today we're going to talk about possessive determiners, and we've already looked at some determiners um, before, like our indefinite and our definite articles, a, an, or the. And if you remember, you needed to know the gender of your noun to be able to pick what the correct determiner. So if it was masculine and you needed a definite article, you need to use le. Feminine, you use la, or un, or une. They have to agree or match the gender and number, like singular or plural, of the noun that it goes with. Well, that's the same thing with our possessive determiners. And you can think of them also as possessive adjectives. Because in French, adjectives agree or match the noun that they're describing. So what do we mean by possessive? Well, that's pretty simple. It just means we're talking about to whom something belongs. As in my, your, his or her, our, uh, your, as in your plural, y'alls, okay, and their. So, um, it, let's just get started looking at them and then you'll see where there's a little bit of a tricky spot here. So, let's start with my. There are three ways to say my in French. A masculine way, a feminine way, and a plural way way and it has nothing to do with you okay so if i am saying my grandmother i am going to use ma not because i am a girl but because i'm speaking of my grandmother and if i wanted to say my grandfather i would use mon because I'm referring to, I'm describing grandfather. It goes with grandfather. So, mon would be masculine, even though I, the speaker, am feminine. It does not matter about me. It matters what is it that's belonging to me. That's the gender we're looking at now. That's the noun that we're looking at. Again, we're not focusing on me. We're not focusing on to whom it belongs. We're focusing on the thing that belongs the grandmother the grandfather okay ma grandmère mon grandpère so if we were saying grandparents my grandparents well now it becomes pretty obvious well we would need to use me me grandparents simple and the good news is that they kind of rhyme ton your ta your also your so you could say ton père your father ta mère your mother tes parents your parents masculine plur, uh, plur, uh, sorry masculine feminine and plural right that's pretty simple i'm gonna skip over here right now notre means our so notre grand-mère our grandmother Notre grand-père, our grandfather. We don't need a masculine one or a feminine one, it's just our. But we do need a plural one. So if we were going to say our grandparents, we would use no instead. No. No grand-parents. For your, now this could be your formal or it could be your like y'alls. Your grandmother. Okay. So I'm talking to a couple of my friends and I would say, your grandmother, your, y'all's grandmother. It's still one grandmother. But I would say, vous, your grandparents. So I'm speaking to multiple people about their multiple belongings. Vos grandparents. La, their dog this one's a little simpler leur their dogs their cat their cats it belongs to multiple people like my neighbors but am i talking about one thing their one dog or multiple things their two cats that's why we add the s so let's go back to Maybe the trickiest part, which is his or her.
And when I say this, this is this is really the one thing that you need to remember. Everything in this box that I'm going to put means his or her. I will say that again. Everything that I put in this box right here means his or her. So let's watch. So means his or her. Sa means his or her. And say means his or her. Everything I put in that box means his or her. Here's the trickiest part. This is what, what is, is going to be the assembling block here. If I said his mom, your first instinct might be to think, oh, his, and you're going to be an English speaker and think his is a masculine word, but that is not what we need to do. Remember where I told you this means his or her, this means his or her, and this means his or her. So his mom, we don't care that it's his, we care that it's mom. Just like ma went with grandmother and mo went with grandfather, well, same thing. His mother is sa mère, sa mère. This could mean his mother or her mother because I told you everything in that box means his or her. This is what we're looking at. We need to look at mère. How can you tell if it means his or her? Well, the context. You have to look at the context. So here's the other trick. If I said her father, her father, your English brain is going to say, oh, saw her, that's feminine, but no, no, no. We need to look at her. Per, per, which is masculine. So even though I'm trying to say her father, I need to focus on the noun I am describing. As, as long as we think of our possessive determiners as adjectives, I'm describing this. That means my adjective must agree or match. So even though I want to say her father, I am saying son père. Okay? His parents would be say parents. That would also mean her parents. Everything in that box can mean his or her. And as long as you remember that, that will keep you safe from writing the incorrect word. Now, speaking of possessive, I'm going to give you one rule that Everyone seems to break for at least all of French one because it's just it it's an easy assumption to make. Apostrophe s. Apostrophe s is the way we express possession in English, right? Like um, that's Josh's pet. Okay, we put Josh apostrophe s to describe possession. Don't do it in French. This is purely an English grammar point. Do not ever put some sort of apostrophe s. You either need to use your possessive determiners or if you want to say that something belongs to someone, use the word of. Okay, so I will show you a couple um, things to watch out for. Do not say, again, Sylvette's chien, Sylvette's dog, and use our apostrophe yes. No, that's an English thing. That doesn't make any sense in French, okay? Don't say Sylvette the chien. That doesn't make any sense either. Okay, that actually means the sylvette of the dog, okay? The dog sylvette. Nope, nope, doesn't make sense. We are going to say le chien de 
Sylvette. The dog of Sylvette. That is Sylvette's dog. This is the only way that we can come close to the apostrophe S in French. Okay? The dog of Sylvette. Um, it could be the le cahier de Sylvette, the, the notebook of Sylvette, Sylvette's notebook. You say de, right? Now, sometimes you might see, how about um, the teacher's uh, dogs? You see the teacher's dogs at home. The teacher's dogs. So you would say, les chiens, the dogs of the teacher. Now, here is the, the little thing that I need to point out here. You cannot say de le. You must make a contraction with this. You must put them together. So you must say les chiens du prof. So don't get confused. If you see du, d, u, don't get confused. That just means de le. That means of the, the dogs of the teacher or the teacher's dogs. Okay, make sure you review that and you practice um, because the possessive adjectives can really be a little confusing at first. But again, remember that one section, son sassé, all mean his or her.